All right. <clears throat> Let me show you real quickly how to make these uh, IDX to Craigslist um, posts. So let's see here. Real quickly, this is what one looks like right here. You have to put in the title, basically just pull that off the, uh, the IDX stuff and maybe come up with something cool there, a catchy title of some sort. Here's an image that I have. Um, and this is kind of what this one looks like and this isn't anything really that spectacular. And I'm missing an image right here. But basically it just has their contact information when people see this and they click on these then it should take them to a page. So in this case, that piece of property is gone. So what you'll want to do is download that PDF that I have, and I'll put a link to it here at the bottom of the video. And you'll want to copy and paste all this HTML code. And once you have it popped in, It looks something like this. So I'm going to tell you real quickly what these are. And then let's match this up against another uh, let me shut some of this stuff down real quick. Okay, so let's go to this Christine Browning. We're going to pull a bank owned property. We're just going to pull this first now. Million dollar bank owned properties are sometimes kind of difficult, so let's just pull one off the bottom. Probably get more reaction off of it. No. Okay, I'm starting to get picky here. I don't like those either. 102, 97, we want something that's 90, right, or about 100, that looks pretty good. Okay, that one's got a nice picture, so let's take that one. So the first thing we need is we need this URL off the top, because that's where we want everybody to go. So, oops, that wasn't really what we wanted, but anyway, Here's where we're going to go. We're going to pull it and put it right here where it says details. Boom. So that's that piece of property. Okay, to get back to the results, let's see. I actually need this link right here. So let's pull that, copy the link. Let's go back up here, and we're going to pop this in right at the tippity top. And that's going to tell us where to go get the uh, foreclosures. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, back where we were, and let's start sucking this information off here. Street. Okay, we're going to put it in a text thing because it's just going to be too hard. Let's see what else we have here. Let them in Oregon. So, this is the first time my uh, fan, I have a MacBook Air. It's the first time the fans come on. I guess it's doing some work now, making a making a video. Price eighty nine nine. Pop that in there. And these fonts aren't really going to matter because it's all going to go away. Three bedrooms and uh, it's a zero full baths. So I find that hard to believe. Okay, it says two baths, so that's two, 
two baths. And we're going to make this partial baths one out. 1620 square feet. Listing number. Okay, click on any of these photos for more information. So here's the link. I'm going to stretch this out just so I can actually even see what we're looking at here. And then there's a spacer after each one. Okay, and the link is the one that we just put in there in the first place. It takes them back to this page. So now we go to the photo gallery. And all these pictures are showing up, so now we need these links out of here. Let's see here. I'm not really sure how we're going to do this. Let's copy the image address, make sure it works. Okay, that worked. So, there's a link. Image width, we're going to just leave that there. And right here where it says SRC, and those quotes have to be there. Oops, didn't like it. So that means that, let's pull that again. Okay, Central Oregon Realtors, VGA, perfect. Okay, let's go back. Okay, next picture. See if we can copy that image address just straight in there. And then there's that little realty candy spacer gif there. That's just to leave a little spacer in there. Okay, so that's not going to copy them like that. So we've got to open these in a new, on my computer, I have to open it in a new tab. So I'm not sure how many of these. I'll open a handful of them real quick. And then we can just pull the URLs off of them. So there's that. And we should start to see a little pattern with these pictures, which we do. If you notice, just the last couple of numbers are changing on them. So that actually makes it quite a bit easier. Oops, that's right there. Since I already know that I can see that pattern developing there, the only thing is you have to make sure that all those pictures exist, because if not, sometimes they don't. But we'll just put one, two, three, four. Let's see, there's three, there's four, and then see that one. That was the original one, I guess. Okay. So we need the description. Okay. Yeah, I just realized I should be gone because my dad's now. Okay. Then, uh, so we're going to get that foreclosures thing up here. Just a second. Put it here in the bottom. In. So in this case, we'll put Bend, Redmond, Sisters, um, Madras, and other Central Oregon foreclosures. Then we need her logo. So, uh, so I'm not really sure what what's going to work here. Let's see if we can. Uh, I'm going to put this one. 
but you know some brokerage rules and stuff are a little bit different but put this one here Christine Brownie and then she's with Govind Realty And here's a phone number. Excuse me. And then here, let's just change that to ChristineBrowning.com. And then here, Chris. ChristineBrowning.com and let's save as I don't know these are kind of nutty so let's save and I think we're good and then you copy that and paste all that down into the bottom of the Craigslist ad 